about this look that's in here? I mean, this look obviously was inspired by a brand called Prada. Uh, they were gracious enough to allow me to have the suit to wear tonight. Yes. And uh, tailored it to fit me. Um, that's like family over there. They're really supportive of me and everything that I'm doing. Right. I had an opportunity to work with them on a film collaboration with David O'Russell and Lucia Prada. Okay. And from there, we built a long-standing relationship that I hope can just continue. I love, no, by the looks of it, it's continuing, my brother. It's continuing. Yeah. So talk to me about how your character, Sean, differs from the character that you play in the break. Oh, wow. I feel like it's, it's, it's night and day. I think at the end of the day, one thing I do see as a similarity is that the core is that both good people. But I think that he's, you know, Sean was very, very novice and was still learning okay. how to kind of enter into the world that he was placed in. Right, right, right. Uh, my character, Terrence O'Reilly Washington, he's, he's aware okay. of the world he's in. And he's, he's more calculated in how he's going to navigate it. Right. And he's learning the process of how he can, you know, move up the ladder but being more strategic about it. Where Sean didn't have that, that natural strategy. Yes. Every <laughs> time I'm just like, Sean, why you had to go? Yeah, why you had to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he had a little bit more little Ray in his game, he might have been around a little bit longer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so what I love about this, this series is that it's all about hustle. It's all about grind and yes. turning your dreams into reality. Yes. So talk to me about what else you have going on and coming up outside of the bridge. Did you bring it in back? Uh, well, like I said, I have this uh, the, the film collaboration that I did with Prada that's uh, going to be coming out nationally and internationally, and it's already hit a couple locations so far. And um, that's just been a great experience. I mean, like I said, working with David O. Russell and being so inspired is just a, con a continuation of where I want to be as an artist. And it challenges me to say, like, you know, keep art first and, uh, and move forward with that, and you'll go very far. Right. So speaking about being who you want to be as an artist, talk about how you're using your platform in order to be the change you want to see in the world. Because we're kind of in some tense times as a country. Absolutely. I mean, I think what you said is great. I think we have to be the change that we want to see. And, and one of my favorite artists actually is Tupac. And Tupac said, I may not change the world, but I can guarantee that I'll spark the brain to change the world. Right. So I never think that a movement is just that I am bigger than a movement or I am as big as a movement. I just want to be a positive piece to propel things forward. Right. So I look at it like for me, it's always about setting example number one for young men and also for young women saying like, you know, for young men, this is the kind of guy that you should hopefully want to be like or, you know, way you should carry yourself. For young women, this is the way you should accept respect right. and not settle for less. Right. So I continue to make that a progression. I'm, I'm collect, I, I work with Ghetto Film School, speaking to those kids, inspiring young filmmakers and artists, and, and I'm really passionate about that too. Wow. So talking about inspiring young filmmakers and just people in general, yes, yes. we know that this road to where you are today has not been an easy one. Absolutely. Talk to us about some of the sacrifices and the risks that you had to make in order to make your dream your reality. I mean, I think, like you said, you hit the nail on the head. Number one, it's a sacrifice. Right. I don't think that people really have an understanding for, for, for us as actors right. and, and, and people that work in the film and entertainment industry, how much sacrifice it is, how much dedication and hard work. And I'm sure all my castmates can speak to that. I mean, it's been a lot of long hours, a lot of studying, a lot of reading and rereading, a lot of you know, putting in the genius time so that I can get better each and every day. Sacrificing friendships, sacrificing relationships, sacrificing idle time going out with friends. And and obviously the real ones understand, but it definitely is, is a sacrifice that pays off, but you have to be willing to do it. And um, you have to have people around you that understand that, you, that, that the path is greater for both of you. Right, you better preach. <laughs> so talk to me about that big break, your first big break when some of those sacrifices started to pay off, right? Because you didn't yes. start where you are now. No, not at all. Time. So talk to me about, you know, that big break and what it felt like, how it happened. I mean, I, I feel like my life has been a consistent reminder of big breaks. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never had just one big break. It's just been a steady progression. Right. And, uh, you know, one of my first jobs I got out of college was working on a show called Friday Night Lights. Okay. Um, and that was like my entry into the business. Right. You know, and that was really... Uh, a great, great trial by fire. I had to learn from some of the best actors on TV. Right. You know, two Emmy winners, Emmy Award winning producers and directors. And it just taught me about what it is to be a professional. And more so than just like the big break of like Brian who taught me that if you want to have a, a lasting place in this business, you got to put in the work because they did and that's how they got to the next level. Right. I love it. I love it. I love it. And lastly, since this, this story takes place in the 90s, talk to me about, you know, have you ever heard that quote? You know, if it's not 90s, I don't know when we spoke about that. Talk uh, to me about how, how, how do you prefer for someone to show you love? You know, I'm, uh, I'm going to make a suggestion out here, and I think that if, if you haven't read the five love languages, mm -hmm. read it. Read it. I th I've read that book many times over. Um, it helps you be in a good relationship. It helps you be a better friend. Right. Um, and it helps you understand people. Right. I mean, I think for me, communication is key. 
Right. I can support anybody. I can be down with anything you're doing. I want to be a champion and a cavalier for you, anybody that I love. But just talk to me. Right. And I want to in turn do the same. And I never want to raise my voice to any of my loved ones. You better talk to her. So you, are you talking to anyone? Speaking of talking, are you to, who are you talking to? I mean, I have someone that I'm talking to. Okay. And, and I feel like, you know, she can definitely attest to the fact that I try my best to, to be that man that I want to be growing up. And, and it's, you know, like I said, listening first. Right. You know, when you're frustrated, go to your quiet place and listen some more. I love you know, it's a day-to-day -day practice, though. Wow, I love it. And we, we can't wait to listen and look at you so far on the break. Thank you so much Thank for you. talking with the Jazz and Brad.